gentlemen, IUP is going to walk away with the championship, pop the champagne bottles, and get ready to celebrate. The Hawks are flying tonight, as is the ball. We are PSAC champions. PSAC champions, the Indiana University of Pennsylvania Crimson Hawks jumping up and down on the court, shaking hands. A great game played by the Kutztown Golden Bears. Coach Bernie Driscoll, nine consecutive seasons, making the PSAC playoffs. That's tough. Not that is winning absolutely a title. tough. But you know what? I can't say that uh, I'm not happy. The IUP team really came out and played a great game. We got to see two great games this weekend. IUP just coming to play, brought their best stuff. This is awesome. And don't go anywhere. We're going to keep it here. We're going to get a little trophy ceremony. But I want to tell you one thing, Pat. MVP of the game, the Dominican Dominator. Absolutely. The Dominican Stepping Dominator. Up. He absolutely had, killed it today. Yes, he finished with 23 points, 10 rebounds. Absolutely, you couldn't even tell that Akita McLean wasn't on the floor because with numbers like that, who even needs them? They got they they got the win. And IUP celebrating and set at the at the center court here. Coach Joe Lombardi hugging his assistant coach. It was a huge game, huge playoff. Very good test for the IUP team. Going in the half, down two points, coming back, pulling away with an 11 point victory over Kutztown University. An 84 to 73 win. Keep it here, folks. We're going to get a little trophy presentation for the PSAC champion, Indiana University of Pennsylvania, Crimson Hawks. As much as I'd like to give Ashton Smith, who I, th I thought, honestly, I hope some people talk about his performance in this tournament because whenever they needed a, a big play, he stepped up and got As much as I'd love to give him the player of the tournament, I'm going to have to give that to Thomas Young because he led the team in scoring both games. He's the senior leader. He had 25 points tonight, six rebounds, five assists, two steals. Just an efficient all-around player and, and got his team the championship his senior year. So right now, Kutztown's going to be presented with the runner-up to the PSAC championship. A great tournament played by Kutztown. Kutztown, take it down, Mansfield. Take it down, Clarion. Absolutely. This, they're a great team, Kutztown. They had a lot of great players. The, 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 three, the three stars of their team definitely have so much talent. You can't, you can't guard them. I mean, we showed, we, I thought we played very good defense this game, but you still can't top, stop those three guys from putting up the numbers they're going to put up. And Steven Dennis and Julius Gray came over to pick up the trophy representing for Kutztown, rightfully so. As they're saying, number one, Kevin Stewart, Ashton Smith, Thomas Young, Julian Sanders, Big, big deal. We have the captain of the cheerleading squad coming to represent, show some support for a team. Coach Dom Lombardi, he's a man of business. He's happy they won, but he's not happy just yet because there's another tournament coming ahead for exactly. IUP. The, the Hawks get to celebrate tonight. They, they, they're probably not thinking about it too much right now because they just want to enjoy this win, but they know that their season's not going to be close to being done. The Division II NCAA tournament's coming up next weekend, and uh, or actually this week. And uh, they are, you know, a possible favorite to possibly win it all. So that's right. As IUP was officially announced as the PSAC champions of the 2009-2010 season, Kevin Stewart stepping up to early get his foul trouble. trouble. He's not the scorer of the team, but he does. He plays great defense, brings great energy, and he just doesn't make many mistakes. So that's yeah. that's key. We're going in numerical order as Don Lombardi picks up his trophy. Joe Rocco picks up his trophy. Now Julian, the Sandman Sanders, picking up his trophy. He did what he had to do. He hit three huge three-pointers in the game. That's all you really need. They, were, they came at big times. The My man, Julian. The Spider-Man, Daryl Webb, picking up his trophy. Chris Edwards, the redshirt freshman. Thomas Young, the senior, couldn't end your senior year any better. He still has more games to play, but he's ready. Akita McLean, he's going to be back for the regional tournament. And he will yes, be a they big fully, force. They fully expect him back. And, I mean, we just took over this tournament without him. I, I'm so excited to see what we're going to do with him in the NCAA. Scooter Rankin, Ashton Smith. It's it's a, it's a sight for sore eyes, folks. PSAC champions, first time since 2004. Danny Aiebo, the freshman from Indiana, picking up his trophy. And here he Our is. Our player of the game, the Dominican Dominator, Willie 
Chris Vela stepped up in a huge way for his team. I think that was the best game played I've seen. Best game Willie Estrella has played all season. Oh, I've seen a lot of IUP games. Absolutely. And Coach Joe Lombardi is going to join his team for a team picture. And it's just, it doesn't get any better than this. No, it does not, Tyler. And as you see, the entire team pumped up. Freeze it, frame it. There's your picture of the night. IUP all holding their individual trophies. Akita McLean is going to pick up the team trophy. We're going to put it in the trophy case. Absolutely. That's always going to be a reminder. As soon as you see that, we're going to be able to say, we were there. We called that game. We witnessed history. We witnessed one of the best teams IEP's ever put on the floor. And the grounds crew got my page, and I called them. I said, get the ladder out. Get ready to cut down the net. As number 22, Thomas Young being presented with the most valuable player of the tournament award with a phenomenal tournament. Absolutely. Jordan yesterday they, with 23 they, points. They thought as I thought Thomas Young had to be the player of the tournament. Thomas Young, 23 points in yesterday's victory over tonight. East Stroudsburg. 25 points tonight. The number five nationally ranked IUP Crimson Hawk basketball team. Akita McLean hoisting the trophy. Keep it off of his sore hand, get him ready, as Chris Edwards joining him, the red shirt freshman. Akita McLean, the Boston College transfer, looking forward to bringing him back next Tuesday. And we see a, a nice embraceful hug there by Daryl Webb. Daryl the Spider Webb and Coach Joe Lombardi. Big season for the Crimson Hawks. They're making it nationally. They're going to the regional tournament, number two in the Atlantic region, just behind West Liberty. We saw each, we saw IUP in the top ten plays earlier Absolutely. on Sports Center. Webb. It's been a huge, huge season been for so this exciting. Crimson Hawk basketball. So team. excited! And they look like they they're loving this. They're having a great time. They know how good they are. They're not a secret to them. They know the expectations. They know they have great players, and they have a great coach. So they expect this. This is not a surprise to them. They want to go into the tournament and do some damage. And the stands are falling out, but everybody's getting ground level. They want to see this. The, uh, the net being cut down is Daryl Webb's going to be the first man to go up there. He's going to slice down the first piece of the net. And as far as I know, there's no relation between Joe and Vince, but uh, <laughs> like I said, different sport, different era, but tonight it is the Lombardi Trophy. And second up on the ladder, that's going to be Chris Edwards, the young gun. He says, that's all right, I, I want to step up. I'm the freshman. I want, I want to know what it's like to cut down a net. Absolutely. Who wouldn't? And he, I don't think he cut it all the way through. He needs to, <laughs> he needs to cut it all the way through. There you oh, go. Oh, rookie mistake. Oh, uh, he needs to cut off. He needs to keep it for himself. Yeah, there you go. Yes. That's something you keep for the rest of your life right there. You're a PSAC champion. Scooter Rankin, number 32. Scooter Rankin, you see him on the big hit. We'll make sure he brings it for Played the next episode. Played a lot episode. in this tournament. A lot more than he's used to playing with the injury to Akita McLean. Scooter Rankin was really asked to step up, and he did in a big way. And this has to be an exciting game. Scooter with a, a costly turnover late in yesterday's game, but his team picked him up, pulled away with a victory over East Stroudsburg University in a tough crowd at the home of East Stroudsburg. Yeah, I mean, IEP virtually played about two road games in, yeah. in, in this tournament. La last night was for sure a road game. This place was absolutely shaking with all the East Stroudsburg fans. That didn't affect them. Tonight, even though it was not the same atmosphere, Kutztown outnumbered IEP's fans uh, by a lot just because I, uh, Kutztown happens to be a lot closer, but didn't affect the Hawks. They were able to come out with the victory. And we saw Apparently Julian on the roads, nothing to them. Julian Sandman Sanders knocking down a few key three pointers earlier. Ashton Smith cutting it down now. Ashton Smith, he's he's my second he's my second runner up, easily the runner up to the player of the tournament in my eyes. Even though Darrell Webb also had an outstanding tournament, Ashton Smith just came up with some key plays at some key times. <coughs> Guard getting some nice rebounds, shooting some threes, not making mistakes, not getting in foul trouble. That's all you can ask for. And Dom Lombardi, the coach's son, he's he gets to share this moment, Coach Lombardi, with his son, freshman. Yeah, that's something special as well. Even though his son's not a, a starter, doesn't get too much playing time, to have your son on the team that, that got to do something this special, it, that's just got to be icing on the cake for Joe Lombardi. And Kevin Stewart cutting down his piece of the net. This has got to be an exciting moment for Kevin Stewart. Kevin Stewart 
gotten early foul trouble today, but everything he does doesn't have to go on the stat sheet, as we saw yesterday with him and Robbie Pines going at it all game. He plays a stout defensive game of Absolutely. basketball. Absolutely, yeah. Kevin Stewart's never going to be the guy that lights up the stat sheet, but he, is, he, he does the intangibles. He plays lockdown defense, as we saw last night on Robbie Pines, and tonight he did a pretty good job on uh, Julius Gray when he was in. Julius Gray's majority of his points came when Stewart was on the bench. So yeah. um, despite the early foul trouble, Stewart just does what he can to help the team. And Joe Rocco just a minute ago cutting down the net. He saw playing time decrease, but he's still a force. Like you said, it was just that energy that they needed to put out there for to, to play some defense. Danny Aiebo, the freshman from Indiana County. Him and Dom Future Lombardi, right two there. freshmen. Dom Lombardi. Danny Ayabo, Chris Edwards, Dave Thomas, some Absolutely. of the guys IUP's that are going to be. IUP's got a lot of nice young talent that uh, should be the future of this program. And really, Thomas Young and Akita are the, are the only seniors that they'll be losing. So. And you see that piece that carved in the side of Dave Thomas's head. And here's the Dominican dominator. Hold that ladder up. He's all serious. He's all business. And this is huge for Willie Estrella's confidence going into the tournament. They'll look to use him a lot more after the game he had tonight. He'll most likely be a starter next year, so they'll need him to play like he did tonight a lot more often. That's right. The Dominican, the Dominican dominator from Santiago, Dominican Republic. And here's the big man from Boston College, the Boston College Does transfer. Does Akita even need to get on the ladder? Akita McClain. <laughs> him and Darrell Webb can just reach up I'm and I'm pretty it. sure they can. I don't know the... the we don't want him to get hurt. The ladder seems kind of arbitrary at this point for them. So Akita gets his piece of history, knocks it down, cutting it, cutting down. He's cutting down two pieces. So Akita McLean chopping down. He gets some sharper scissors in there for them. Big year for the big man, the transfer from Boston College. Good senior year with IUP. Like we said, averaging just just short of a double-double, 15.3 points per game in the regular season, just about eight rebounds per game. Played yeah. a lot of time with IUP. He's a huge player, and he's got the Division One experience coming from Boston College. I expect him to really just come back in the NCAA tournament and go on a tear because he, as much as as happy as he is now, the team got it done without him. It had to kill him to sit on the bench for these two games. That's right. And Thomas Young, the MVP of the tournament, cutting down his piece of history. I think he's going to get the whole the rest of it. So you see Thomas Young yesterday against East Strasburg, a 23-point performance, breaking a. 63 to 63 tie with two key free throws with 41 seconds left just before Ashton Smith finished off another two free throws to end the game and I think at, and Thomas Young's going to finish off this net and he's going to put it around his neck he's going to wear it like a gold well, chain tonight. Fo football's got the Gatorade you know baseball's got the pie in the face basketball's got his neck cutting you gotta love the tradition. It's, it's beautiful sight it's nice to see I'm honored to call it I'm honored to be alongside Pat Don.